Hello fellow blenderers, and welcome to my first blender project video for this channel. So today, we're going to be working on Corvo Sword from Dishonored. So the reason I chose this is because Dishonored is by far my all-time favorite game series, and I just love everything about it. The artwork, the gameplay, the combat especially, so that's why I've chosen Corvo Sword. So we're just going to get right into it. So first off, we're going to pick an image. And to get the most accurate image, I'm going to choose the sword directly from uh, the Dishonored fandom website. So it, this is probably an in-game screenshot of it, actually. Just edit it a bit so you can uh, have it be a PNG. So what we're going to do is we're going to save that to our desktop so it's easy to find in Blender. And then we're from, from there, we're just going to straight up open Blender. This is Blender 2.8 beta. This is what I use for most of my modeling nowadays. Alright, so now that we have all the parts printed out for the sword, we are going to, um, we're going to glue them together, but I'm not sure what glue we're going to use for now, so I'm going to go look around and see what the best kind of glue I can find is. Alright, so unfortunately the cord that I have for this is too short, so we're going to have to move it closer to an outlet. So in the game, this back piece with the curve on it faces towards your hand, like this, and this single-sided piece also attaches like that. And then the blade face obviously faces away from you, so we're going to 
hot glue that to the side, well, the blade facing the side with the two prongs, and then hot glue it like that. So first what we're gonna do is since there's a little, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a little indent right there. That's gonna make it hard for it to glue it to the top of that. So we're gonna sand that down a bit first. All right, so that's now sanded down as much as possible, but it's not gonna be perfect, but we're not, we're going for aesthetic, not actually perfectness, well, perfection. So I think we're gonna start by gluing the bottom piece first, well, the guard first. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with a little dot and press that on and hold for about 30 seconds. All right, so now that we have the guard glued to the blade, I want to glue this on properly. So to do that, uh, this side's actually more Right here is more rough than the top of that, so we're gonna glue the guard again. Again, placing it in the center. Let's make sure I align this properly on the first try, unlike last time. So, for this dries, that faces away from your hand, okay. All right, so that looks really well aligned, actually. I have good eyeballing skills. Press that together and hold for 30 seconds. All right, good. So now that that is all attached, it should be decently firm. But to add some finishing touches, I'm gonna shoot some hot. I'm gonna shoot some hot glue around this little edge so it doesn't fall off accidentally. Then we're gonna cut off the excess with a exacto knife. All right. So now we're just gonna wait for this to dry. Probably dry now. So let me go get an exacto knife so I can cut the excess off. I am back. I could not find an exacto knife, so a box cutter is going to have to do. All right, so that's as good as I'm gonna get it without actually cutting more of the glue that's holding it together. So we're gonna leave that as is, since it's just meant for a practice and to look cool as is as a prop, just to like sit near my computer, but I think it's good. So now we just need to add some finalizing. So in Dishonored, between the first and second game, his sword kind of changed a little bit. It was probably just a developer error or they just wanted to change it. But in the first game, the edge is more of a sharp edge and less more angular instead of curved so we could have it like that but I prefer the curved look in the second game so we are just going to sand that out and now that we have the tip looking nice we should just probably clean up the sides a bit all right so this is what it looks like finished. I'm gonna put it on display.